Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've done a video, but you know, work and kids just gets away from you. But here a few months ago, I found on Pinterest a cute little toilet paper holder that you hang in the bathroom. So I'm going to try to make it. I've gathered up all of my stuff. I'm hoping it's going to be enough. And you know, we'll just take it and see where it goes. I've got a three inch ring for starters and I've got a dowel rod that I got from a local uh, hardware store. I've cut this down to size and of course I've got my toilet paper and I've got some rope that I got at a local discount store. This is 50 foot. Um, I'm really not sure what the uh, how big this is but um, I mean you can see it's fairly small. I've got three bundles of these. I'm hoping it's going to be enough. So I'm just going to uh, jump in and see how it goes. Okay, everybody. I've got my ring hung up and I've got my rope. So what I'm going to do is the four outside ones are going to be fairly long because they're going to be a spiral. So, I'm going to measure them. I'm hoping, let's see, one, this gets a little bit complicated. Two, trying to get this to unroll right. Let's see, there we go. Three. Three bodies links will be right there. And a spiral takes more rope than just a normal uh, square knot. So I'm thinking three is going to do it. And so I measured the three bodies links. I'm going to cut it right here. And we're going to put two of these on each side of the ring and I'm just going to put this up here right now and I'll show you how I'm doing it here in just a few minutes uh, I'll bring you up closer and actually show you but I just want to sort of get a feel of how this is going to be so we're going to have two on this side and then we'll have two on this side and then we'll have two right here in the middle that are going to be a lot shorter because they're not going to be worked quite as much so um, yeah, I'll be right back and I'll show you how to do that uh, knot that I just did to put that on there. Okay, everybody, so I've got my ropes cut. I've got four cut at three bodies length and two cut at one and a half bodies length. And now I'm going to show you how to do this right here. It's called a lark's head knot. And what you're going to do is your ropes, you're going to take your two ends and put them together. And then you're going to go back down, feed it back down through your hand until you come on a loop. A little cat hair there. And a loop. So you put your loop through your ring, pull it down, put your fingers through the loop, grab the tails, and pull them through. And then pull the tails tight, and you have a lark's head knot. Now I'm going to put two on this left side of the long ones. Now I'm going to take my two short ones and put right here in the middle. So tails together, travel down, there's your loop, put it through the ring, fingers through the loop like this, grab the tails, pull it through. And there's one of our short ones on there. Now I'm going to put another short one because these right here in the middle are going to be shorter because they're not going to be worked near as much as the ones on the outside edges. And we're going to put that there. Lark's head knot. Put it on. And now we're going to put our two long ropes on that side. So let me grab that. Ends together. Travel down. Down, down down and 
it all gets tangled up. Of course, there's the loop. This one on there. Come on through. There we go. Tighten that up. And now one more. Okay. Tails together. Travel down. There's our loop. Through the ring. And tails through the loop. Just like that. Okay. And there is our starting of it. Yay. Alright. So, to go on from here, these are going to be spirals. And these are going to be spirals. So, let's just start on that. To do a spiral, let me make sure that you're still in the picture here and I can see everything. You can see everything. Okay. So, to do a spiral, it's just one half of a square knot. So, you're going to take this left, left rope and bend it up into a four over these two middle ones. Take your right, far right rope of these two ropes here. You have to have four, four ropes to do this. One, two, three, four. Take this one, put over that one. Take it back behind. And we're going to put it through this loop right here. Right like that. And pull the tail through. Now take your two end ones and pull that up tight. Keep a hold of this one, these two, and pull. Because you don't want these to twist on you. It won't look right. Now we're going to do that same thing again. The left rope, fold it up into a four. This one over it, back behind, through the loop. Pull the tail through. And then pull these two end ones. And see how it done that? That's why you hold on. Down there. And we're just going to keep doing this. The same thing. Over and over and over again. And it's going to start to twist. You can see it's already trying to twist. Oops. Boy, this rope is a little bit difficult to work with. It's a little stiff and it's not quite as soft as what I'm used to. And we're going to keep doing this. See how it's twisting there? We're going to keep doing this. When it starts twisting, just twist it back around to where you can work it. And then when you get done, then you can twist it like that. But for now, I'm going to keep it. Try to keep it straight. But just keep doing that all the way down your piece for as long as you want your toilet paper roll holder okay i'll be back whenever i get this one done and i'll show you these middle pieces okay so as you can see i have done the spirals on each side and i've made them even now we need to do this part right here in the center and what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to do a square knot now, a square knot, you start out the same as the spiral. You take your right one, or your left one over, your right one over that, and back through this loop right here. The same way as what we done our spiral. But now, the second part of this is you take your right rope now and bend it up into a backwards four. You take your left rope over that one and back behind and through this loop right here. What did I do? This one back behind and through. Just like that. Pull your tails. That's your square knot. I'm going to do one more of these. There we go. Now. What did I do with it? I'm going to take a bead just for a little extra something put it through the I only took one because it, my bead is too small for both of them I'm going to put take that all the way up to the bottom of the square knot and now I'm just going to put a square knot underneath him just like this And the 
other side of it. This. There we go. So we're going to pull him to the front like that. And I think I'm going to do one more. Just to give me a little bit of extra support there for that bead. And now, now I'm going to cut these off. I know they look really short, but um, they'll be okay. All right. I'm going to cut those off right there. Now, this rope is wound really tight. So whenever you have some extra time, you can come in here and just pull it apart and make it fray and it'll be really cute. But that's just a little bit more time consuming than what I've got right this second. So whenever I get time, I'll fray these out. But like I said, this rope is just really super tight and it's gonna take a long time to do that. So. He's wanting to stick out there and be all funny. Okay, so now we're going to put our dowel rods on. And the way I'm going to do that is, let me move you down just a little so you can see what's going to be going on. Okay, so this is the bottom of our piece, and we're going to put our dowel rod on right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, these four over here, and I'm going to put a square knot, but I'm going to move him, move the square knot down and leave room for my dowel rod to sit right in there like that. And that way you can take your toilet paper on and off, you know, when it gets empty, put another roll on, and all of that. So, tighten him down like this. I'm going to put another one on the other side, exactly level with my first one. Tighten him down good. I think I got him a little bit too tight there, didn't I? Loosen him up a little bit and pull those. See, they got twisted on me. Gotta watch it. There we go. Now. Now we put our dowel rod. I'm just, you can see the four right there. I'm just going to split them and put my dowel rod in. Same with the other way, other side. Just like that. It's not exactly set and straight, is it? So there we go. Oh, let's not forget the import, most important part here. The whole reason for making the piece. Okay, and there we have it. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these off. I don't know where. Let's see how much... How far down do we want them? Let me move you down just a little so you can see what we're doing. Now we're going to trim these off right about here. Maybe. Just trim them off. Yes, I know I've got a lot of extra rope. But, you know, you'd much rather have too much as not enough. Because you cannot put this stuff back together no matter how hard you try. Now, I'll be right back to show you everything finished. Okay, so here it is in all its glory. Of course, I'm going to do a few more things here and make it all poofy if I can. But, um... 
I hope you like it. It's something that is pretty simple to make for like, you know, oh my gosh, it's my sister's birthday tomorrow. What am I going to do? Uh, here you go. Something really simple. 15, 20 minutes, you got it done and send it out the door. So I hope you liked it and I really enjoyed doing it with you. If you liked it, give me a good thumbs up and subscribe. Have a good day, y'all. Bye.